Hello Linux fans and welcome to Linux Quest. We are kicking off the week with another Samsung DexPad video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at my top three pick for email apps within Samsung Dex. Now, if you're not familiar with the Samsung DexPad and what it's all about, it's a docking station that allows you to turn your phone into a full desktop OS as you see here. For the most part, the implementation is very good. In fact, I think it's better than what anyone else has attempted. And for many people out there, I think you could use this as your full-time operating system. Now, it's not designed for power users, for someone who's doing video editing and, and you know, very uh, power-intensive things like that. However, the more I use it, the more I realize this is really going to go somewhere. And if they continue to work on this and add Linux support for a Linux OS or Linux apps, then I think they've really got a winner on their hands. All right, well, that said, let's jump into our top three email applications for the Samsung DeX. So first up on the list, but not in order of my favorite, would be Gmail. So we're going to take a look at that. Then we're also going to take a look at the system email app, which is my number one pick, with a close second being an email application called Nine. So let's jump on over to the Gmail app so you can see what that looks like in full screen DEX mode. So for anyone who's used a tablet or an Android phone, uh, chances are you have seen the Gmail app and the Gmail app has continued to improve over the years. Now, specifically for this implementation, which is full desktop mode, you know, results could have varied. It could have been that Samsung and Google didn't implement this ability. However, they've tied it in nicely and you get the familiar three column layout. Now, I'm not gonna spend a tremendous amount of time here because the majority of you are familiar with this, I feel sure, uh, but you get your folder hierarchy on the left, the main subject with the date and everything sorted out in the center with your main email here on the right. Um, all of the usuals are in place. You can mark read, unread. You could snooze this email or change the label. You could also print from here or report as spam. Now, if you go to create a new email, uh, that will give you a pop out here that allows you to kind of multitask. So you could minimize this and then minimize this main window and then hop right back into your compose window. So again, the implementation is really good here. Everything works as it should. You can add an attachment, things like that. And so for that, you know, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. It really works well. And if you already have a Gmail account, chances are you have this set up on your phone. So it's here. So, you know, why not use it in this mode? So what you're seeing here is the Linux Quest account set up. Um, and, you know, so that's primarily what I use this for. And again, really happy with it, but it's not my number one pick. Go ahead and close this out. And then next up, we're going to take a look at my number two pick, which is an So Nine is an email app that I've used over the years. It's a paid application, and it's probably the most professional, well-thought-out, um, all-in-one email app. And what I mean by that is it includes your calendar, contacts, tasks, and notes. It's probably more closer to Outlook than the actual Android Outlook app is. And I would highly recommend you take a look at this if you're using an Exchange account within Android or if you're using, say, Google Apps for Business or whatever they're calling it these days um, because it all ties in together. Now, on my Samsung phone, I'm using all of the system apps. I'm using the Samsung ecosystem, be it the built-in calendar, built-in contacts, so on and so forth. Um, that is the only thing that's keeping me from switching over to nine and um, you know it may be that next week i decide to go away from the built-in system apps because this is such a powerful full-fledged email app so let's just take a look at the again the familiar three column layout here where you have access to your folders here on the left uh, you can set up your vip status for your emails attachments and then down here at the bottom we see the calendar, contacts, task, and notes section, as well as the settings icon. So this is where things uh, really start to show how powerful and tied in this is for a complete email suite. So first we're going to go to calendar, 
and that'll launch in a separate window. Now, if we were set up with Exchange or Google Apps for Business or something like that, G Sync, I think they're calling it, or G Apps, whatever it is uh, today, um, all of that information we would pull right in. Uh, same with contacts, and this would you know, open up in a window. We'll just keep opening here, task, uh, and we'll go ahead and minimize this. And you'll see here that they're all individual windows, so from a multitasking standpoint, uh, this works really well. Now, if you go into the settings, there is a lot here that you can customize and put in place. Uh, appearance, you could go to a dark theme, notifications, task actions, your security, set up your VIP information, they have labs. This is a uh, app that the developers are really active on. Uh, let's go over here and change that to dark. Oh, that's do not disturb. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cancel that. Um, but you can change this to a dark theme. Um, and then again, you could spend a lot of time, which I'm not going to do for the purposes of this video, uh, but you could spend a lot of time uh, setting things up and make it work as best as it can for you. So really, really appreciate the power behind this. So uh, all your folders here, quick access again to contacts, task notes, so on and so forth. Main subject of your email here, which you can then search, uh, powerful search, uh, filter, and this has probably got the nicest filter selection of any of the three we're looking at and then sorting function here and again you can go in and sort this a myriad of ways uh, everything from favorites to uh, basically whatever filter you've set up uh, sort by date and conversation view and then over to the right you're going to have controls here for things like marking is read unread delete forward um, you know archive uh, mark as junk and then your drop down here you could create a task or an event and this works with the built-in task and calendar not the system in this case you know the Samsung system apps it works with its own built-in apps and everything works extremely well to a very detailed point where you could uh, create a task with the subject or the actual message of the email and that's one of the things that kind of keeps me coming back and if I decide one day to move away from the built-in system apps on the phone then nine would definitely be my number one choice uh, you could go into print share um, you can see this full screen so it's going to pop that right out um, and then you could also get into the message details or export the message re-download the message or perhaps this is something where maybe you've gotten spam in the past or something uh, you know a link you're not sure about you could sanitize the contents so you start to see the power behind nine um, and then if we move over here you've got reply all quick response which you can set up or you could create a new email from there um, you've got snooze function built in so if I right click here I can reply with right click go to schedule uh, mark unread so if you set up schedule you could say today tomorrow this week so on and so forth or pick a date and then this is gonna again tie in with the existing calendar um, this is such a nice as I'm actually sitting here going through this I'm thinking okay uh, maybe I will switch over from the system apps and start using this anyway time will tell I bounce back and forth So here we are with my number one pick for the Samsung DexPad email system, and what can I say? It's a you know it's a Samsung app. It has been refined over the years. Uh, it works very well. It's a good mix of professional with enough settings, um, and um, it ties in with the rest of the phone system, or in this case, the operating system or the desktop system, if you will. And so you've got your familiar three column layout that could be minimized to take up less space, but you've got quick access to all of your folders, you could create new folders from here or jump right into settings. Now it's not as full featured or, you know, doesn't give you as many options as you would get in say nine, uh, but it's got what you need here. You can change your conversation view, manage your mailboxes, set up your signatures and your notifications and your spam addresses. Uh, change your title, subject line, things like that. And as you drill down into the various settings, you will see more than what you see here. 
but there's enough there to make this email app your own. Now the sorting is very nice. You could go in from date all the way down to priority or attachments. And again, it's not as full featured as nine here, but it has, I think, everything you would need to really be able to access your email and you know do it in a way that makes sense to you. You can set up conversation view and things like that. Now the search is powerful, it works fast. You've got voice search, so I appreciate that. Here in the middle you've got you know the main subject with the date and the ability to just jump right in and create an email from here. So you could attach, send directly from this window, set up the priority and turn off rich text. Um, now, one of the things that I'm missing and would like to have in all three of these email apps, including my number one pick here, and that is spell check. So when you're in DEX mode, you're using a wireless keyboard and mouse or a wired keyboard and mouse, and you lose the spell check feature in all three of these apps. And, you know, there are cases where you're typing along and maybe you've misspelled something, or in my case, you're just not that great at spelling. Uh, so it's nice to have that feature and I may go on a quest if you will pun intended to find an email app that has built-in spell check and I'm sure there's something out there within the Android store and we'll just have to see time will tell if I can find something that works otherwise this is terrific in what it does if we move over to the right to the main body you've got the ability to pop this email out in a window and use this in, you know, in a multitasking scenario where you minimize that window. But from here, you can mark as unread, move, all the same features you've got right over here, snooze the email, mark as spam, add to your list of VIPs, or create an event. Now, if you click on this, it's going to tie into the system calendar app from Samsung and allow you to set all of your normal calendar info, such as time and you know location so on and so forth based off of the subject of this email or you could print from right here if you're vision impaired you can zoom in from here which is a nice feature as well and you can do all of that right here in this window as well so we could zoom that in for example you know, add it as a favorite so overall I think this strikes a really good balance uh, you know so on one hand you've got Gmail which has a a set of features but I don't think it's as polished and professional looking as the system app here and then on the other hand you've got nine which I'm gonna give kudos to as probably being one of the best email apps in the Play Store especially if you use exchange or Google Apps you know for business or whatever they're calling it these days um, because that allows you to tie in through one app your calendar your contacts task and notes and it works extremely well if you don't happen to like the built-in system apps for um, you know all of those features so it's a close tie between the nine email application in the system app but again my number one pick is the Samsung email system for the DexPad desktop mode as we see here alright well I normally don't say this uh, you know at the end of my videos but if you have found this informative um, you know if you just have enjoyed the video I would just say hey please click on the subscribe button and if you want to see more videos or be alerted to more videos there's a little bell there that you can check as well and anytime we release a new video here you'll get a notice about it so I appreciate you watching and hope you have a good one